From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Two people dying in a Sarasota home from carbon monoxide poisoning. Deputies identifying the victims as 88-year-old James Livingston and 81-year-old Sharon Livingston. Investigators are still working to find out what caused the deadly levels of carbon monoxide. Family members now confirming three-year-old Noah McAdams started chemotherapy today. The child ended up at the center of a nationwide debate over his cancer treatment. A judge ruled Noah must undergo chemo despite his parents' push for an alternate treatment. A Polk County bus attendant behind bars tonight. Investigators say a camera caught Juanita Tappan punching and abusing six students who have special needs. She is now on administrative leave. We looked into her history. She has not been in trouble with the district before. In other news, the Pinellas County School District working to find out what caused a big depression at Tarpon Springs High School. That hole is now approximately 20 feet long and 12 feet deep. The school district plans to fill it with dirt. The Sarasota International Dragon Boat Festival takes over Nathan Benderson Park tomorrow. Dozens of teams will compete in races that start at 8 in the morning and admission is free. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody. We had some showers and some storms. About a third of the area picked up some rains across Friday, Saturday. I think we'll start to see some changes and into Mother's Day. Kind of a big change to the winds and instead of every shower and thunderstorm blowing back toward our coast, they're actually going to be moving to the east side of the state, which means you'll get a better beach day on Sunday and the better chance of storms will be east of Lakeland. Thank you, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.